Okay, so the next step is we've taken our phylon and we've rolled it out. And this side has the plastic sheeting on it, so that's going to be our upside. And the glue side is going to be down. So I've clamped it around the edge of my trailer box here. And I trimmed about an inch on each side and left that overhang. Now we have to trim the back side here. And we're just going to trim that back to about an inch here and then once we get it glued down then we can take a router and go around the edge and make it nice and clean so let me give you a shot on how to cut this phylon and we've got it oversized so we've got a little bit of area to play and uh, let's get it cut so I'll be using a pair of straight tin snips and that gives a nice clean cut <coughs> so we've got a nice straight mark here and all we're going to do is just cut on our line and curl it up as we go. And that's how we cut the phylon. Okay, now that we've got the phylon trim to fit our uh, bottom piece here. I took a couple of clamps and I clamped the file on here on the back section. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take and roll this back. Yeah. And I'll clamp it here on the back section. And then we're going to spray our glue adhesive onto our plywood and we'll spray our glue onto our file on. And once that's ready, then we'll slowly roll that down and then we'll take a laminate roller and we'll start in the center and we'll push out the air get it nice and sealed down then once that's sealed down then we'll go ahead and clamp the back section take the clamps off the front roll the phylon back and repeat it on this side glue it roll it down and roll it out and then we'll be ready to trim around with a router bit and get it nice and pretty looking. That's how we're going to do it. Now to spray our glue, I went to Harbor Freight, bought me a heavy duty spray gun and I wanted to find one with the largest tip that I could uh, purchase. And in this case it's a two millimeter uh, orifice. So you want to get the largest tip that you can so the glue when you spray it will come out a nice web pattern and not a real fine spray and uh, we may end up having to modify this just a bit uh, we won't know until we get started but that's what we're using heavy duty automotive spray gun and you want to find one that has a two millimeter nozzle size tip and that's what we're going to use we'll just take that and spray on our uh, adhesive Wait for that to set up, then stick it down. Now the adhesive that I'm using is what was recommended when I bought the Phylon, and it's $76 a gallon. It's Helmaprene glue. It's for fiberglass and Phylon, so that's what we're going to use. I poured, oh, probably about half a quart into the gun, and we are ready to start spraying. Now before we get started, I made myself a little a uh, overspray board so I can set that in place wherever I don't want glue and I can shoot my glue like this to keep it from going where I don't want it to go and I'll just shoot the glue like that and uh, of course this will get caked up but it's a throwaway anyway and uh, I'll use it when I'm spraying. I'll set it up here and make sure I don't shoot overspray over top of everything where I don't want it to go. And then uh, along the side here, and we'll just keep glue where we want to keep it concentrated, and we'll get it uh, we'll get it coated. We'll wait about 15 minutes or so, then we'll roll it out, and we'll get it pressed out, and then we'll start the other side. Now, as we get ready to spray, the air compressor is going to kick on. I'm going to go ahead and spray compressed air on here, blow this off really good, make sure it's nice and clean, hook up the air gun. And then we're going to start spraying. Let's get it going.
right, so now that we got everything covered on this end, so I've got the nice spray pattern on our surface, we've got a nice spray pattern on our phylon. Once this is dry, then we're going to set this down here on, on this end, and we'll overlap, get this tacked down, fold the other side over, take the sticks out, and then we'll go ahead and spray that side, and then uh, we'll have phylon on the bottom. All right, so this is set about 15 minutes or so, and now I'm going to place some spacer boards in here because I don't want to get this to contact on here just yet. I need to flip it over and make sure that I get enough contact here in the center so when I uh, flatten it out, I don't have a space that doesn't have contact cement. So for that, got a couple of boards here. Set one there, and I'm going to set one here. Now I can uh, take my clamps off on this side, and then as I roll it out, I'll be pressing it in place here. Take the roller, we'll roll this out just a little bit, and then we'll fold up the other side, get ready to spray that. Give you a shot of this side. So by putting the boards here in the center, I still have this area full of glue and that area full of glue. So when I spray, I've got full contact right in the center. So we're going to go ahead and get this side sprayed. We'll go ahead and spray the phylon on this side. Wait about 15 minutes or so, and then we'll repeat the process and lay it down, and then we'll roll that out real good, and then we're ready to start trimming a little bit. Alright, so this side is sprayed out and looking good. Nice even coat all the way around. Left this here nice and bare. So next is to roll that out and uh, press it in place, and then we get this thing trimmed up.
Now we're going to get ready to trim our phylon around the edges of our flooring. And uh, for that I'm just using a flush trim bit, two flute, and set it just a little bit deep enough that I can get the phylon and trace around the wood. So we're going to set up for that. We'll get this thing uh, trimmed out. And the, this part will be done. We can flip it over and start doing a little bit of finish work. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove my stick here on this side. I've already removed it on the other side here. And that is the edge in which my side walls will rest on. And uh, once it's turned over, time for a little cleanup. So one last tool I made to help me trim this edge because we had an overhang here and uh, so I made just a little jig, strapped a board on here, took my router and run it along this edge Gave me a nice edge, then I just lined it up where I wanted to cut and run the router on there and it trimmed up this edge. So we've got one more side to do here. So here is the overhang and we need to trim that back. So we're going to line up our jig on here and then we're going to go ahead and trim that and this side will be done. So we're going to take our jig, set it all along here, line it up with the edge of our uh, quarter inch plywood. We'll get one side clamped. Come back to the other side. Line that up where it needs to be. And just to double check, make sure that we've got it in the right spot. We'll lay a straight edge on here and see where we need to be. Check the other side. And it looks good. Now we'll just take our trim router, run it along that edge, be done. And that gives us a nice clean edge that we can butt our eighth inch plywood to. And then we'll put phylon on it. And then we will Put some diamond plate on there and that will make it flush on the bottom of the trailer. Okay, now that we've got the uh, phylon installed, uh, we're ready to start on something else. So, I've shown you how to make the floor, how to make the frames, insulate, cut for the bottom, and install the phylon. Hopefully uh, that was helpful for you and it turned out great. And we trimmed everything up so we're on our mark and it's looking good. So I think the next task that I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over, take a look at it, make sure everything lines up. Then we're going to remove this off the table, put our side template on, and get ready to put the file on on our quarter inch for the outside walls. And once that's set aside, then we'll have the trailer, we'll put the floor on the trailer, and start building the uh, walls up and cabinets in. We'll be camping. All right. Well, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, like the channel, subscribe, and as always, stay tuned.